I'm Dr. Jeremy Stovall, Professor of Silviculture at Stephen F. Austin State University. And in this series of videos, we're going to explore the different forested ecosystems that characterized the Southern Appalachian region. And so I'm here right now near the top of Clingman's Dome, the highest point in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And we're kind of going to work from higher elevations down to lower elevations because the elevation gradient from the top of the park here at 6,643 feet down to the lower elevations, uh, even below 1,000 feet, really shape the climate and therefore they shape the vegetation. And so this mountain range is very old, the soils are very heavily weathered, and yet some of them are still actively eroding. So you do end up with young soils in some places. Um, the soils vary depending on the parent material. It's a complex geology in this mountain range, and so that really shapes the soils that you find. From a climate standpoint, here near the top of Clingman's Dome, we are in a temperate rainforest that receives between 80 and 100 inches of rain a year, depending on the year and where you are. Down in lower elevations, some areas near here like Asheville, which is in the rain shadow of the mountains, they may only receive 38 or 40 inches of rain a year, so less than half. So there's really big gradients in soils, there's really big gradients in temperature, there's really big gradients in rainfall. Up here at higher elevations, it's gonna be much cooler than it is at lower elevations. Uh, moving up 1,000 feet is like moving 250 miles north. The other thing that's really shaping these diverse forest communities is the past history of our continent and the vegetation. So 18,000 years ago, glaciers moved as far south as Long Island, and they pushed a lot of the vegetation and the forested communities south. Then the glaciers receded, the vegetation moved back north over time. Trees can't move, so they have to seed in the next generation that grows to maturity, seed in the next generation, so on and so forth. Well, here in the south, they moved north, but they also moved up in elevation. So we end up with these habitat islands atop these southern mountains that are much more similar to forests up in Maine or even Canada, Russia. And so it's this really diverse mixture of forested ecosystems.